Hello, everyone. Today we'll talk about test fixture. In the example tests that I've shown you last time, both tests did some setup work before the test starts. This is almost always the case. Before the tests start, you have to do some initialization work. And oftentimes, for the tests that belong to the same test case, they share some common setup process. In this case, this part is common. And if I have a lot of tests, I don't want to duplicate the common setup process in every test, because duplication is evil. And I don't want to create a global variable of my stack either, because global variable is another evil. Then what can I do? I can use test fixture. So what is a test fixture? A test fixture is a class that contains the common setup code and the data for a group of tests. So in this case, my stack test is a test fixture. And it must be derived from the test class inside the testing namespace. This is apparently defined by Google Test. And this is important. The body of a test fixture must be either protected or public. It cannot be private. Test fixture has two important functions. The first one is setup with unusual capital U. Second one is teardown. Setup function will always be called before a test start, and the teardown function will always be called after the test finished. And the test fixture also contains the common data that will be used by the tests. And here I've created a test with test fixture. Unlike the tests that we've seen before, which start with all capital test, the test with test fixture start with all capital test underscore f. The first parameter is the test case name and it must be the same as the test fixture name. This is required. The second argument is a test name, as usual. Inside of the test, I can access all the members of the test fixture. This is why the body of the test fixture must be either public or protected. If they are private, they cannot be accessed over here. And then I did a bunch of tests. So what will happen implicitly is, before the test starts, it will construct a instance of my stack test. That's called m. And then call m.setup function. And after all the test has finished, it will call m dot tear down. Now suppose I have another test which also uses the same test fixture. Let's call it test pop two. Even though test pop and test pop two share the same test fixture, they don't share the same instance of test fixture. So test pop will create its own instance of my stack test and initialize it, and test pop two will also create its own instance of my stack test and initialize it. So test pop and test pop two are very much independent from each other. A test fixture can also have a constructor and destructor, just like a regular class. And in the constructor, you can also do part of the setup work. And in the destructor, you can do part of the teardown work. Now the question is, should I use the constructor destructor or use the setup teardown function, if they can do the same thing? Most of the time, you should prefer using setup and teardown. And here is why.
Number one, as a guideline, a constructor should do minimum things to put the object in a valid state, and a destructor should do the reverse of a constructor. So in general, it is preferred that both constructor and destructor should do less than more. Number two, if a function is virtual, you should always put it in the setup or teardown function, and not in the constructor or destructor. Because calling a virtual function in a constructor or destructor will result in unexpected behavior. For detail, please watch my related video in the advanced C++ playlist. Number three, if exception might be thrown, always put it in the teardown function, not in the destructor. And again, watch my other related video for details. Number four is actually a special case of number three. Google test assertion should always be put in the teardown function, not in the destructor, because Google test assertion might throw exceptions. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.